Hi, I'm Dave Wurzel and you're watching PHTV4 and we are at the Farmer's Market on Harlem Avenue in Palos Heights and it is a beautiful day and uh, we got all kinds of activities and things going on here and with me is Kara Case who is the marketing manager at, for the uh, Palos Heights Parks and Recreation Department, right? Kara, thank you for being here. I know this is your circus now yeah. uh, and, it, and we, there, it is like a circus, there's a lot of variety. How's the Farmer's Market going so far? This is only the second day or third, third, day, third yeah. day. How's it going so far? It's going really good. I mean, we have great weather we've had and we had a lot of smiles out here. It's been busy, so it's going really good. I'd say the, the smiles especially. I saw some little kids and I know they, they, uh, they have some type of search or scavenger hunt. Yes, we will have our scavenger hunts. They will start next uh, Wednesday. So that theme will be superheroes and then we will continue on with all of our um, scavenger hunts. All different themes. So, yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. So not just for adults coming to look for things, and let's talk about what people will find here, but also there's going to be some fun for kids, too. Yes, definitely. Let's talk about, so th there is an incredible wide variety. I haven't walked around earlier. Can you give us a, like, what's the breakdown of vendors? Who do we have? Yeah, definitely. So we have a lot of craft vendors, and then we have, like, our plants, fruits and veggies, tamales, empanadas, so food, um, crafts, like I said, and then just kind of a big variety, and then we have jewelry as well. So a good variety. So you're gonna find, yeah. Everybody's gonna find something. Yeah. You're gonna. Everybody's gonna find something. If you're hungry, it's a great place to be. If you need a, a gift for somebody, probably another great place to be. All right. Um, you mentioned it. You have theme days. What does theme days mean? And what are some of the themes we have coming up? Yeah, definitely. So our themes are they'll come to our Palos Heights tent, and then they will pick up a little scavenger hunt sheet, and then every vendor will have like a little um, scavenger hunt piece that they'll have to find and just mark it off on their sheet, and then once they find it they come back to our tent and get a craft a nice little prize for all their hard work that they did I like it sounds like fun and so if it's superhero day what does that mean I mean do, should I be wearing a cape if I show up on that day or? you are more than welcome to dress up we do encourage it it makes it a lot more fun the vendors get involved we encourage them to dress up decorate their tent with superheroes if they can it just makes everyone have a lot more fun at the market right. yeah I love, I like play all right so give me a sand we know a superhero day is coming up I'm going to have to take a look at my closet and see what, I, what kind of wardrobe I can put together. What are the other uh, theme days coming up? Yeah, definitely. So we have June 14th will be Circus Day. June 21st will be uh, Hawaiian Day. And then June 28th will be uh, Chicago Sports Day. And then July 5th, we will sadly not have the market just because of the holiday. But yeah, so that's our themes for June. Okay. And then for July and August, July 12th, we'll have USA Day, so our support and appreciation. July 19th is uh, Favorite Decade Day. July 26th is Disney Day. August 2nd is Witches and Wizards Day. And then August 9th, of course, is National Farmers Market Day. So All we'll right. have some entertainment coming out for that day because it's super special to us. All right, that's awesome. Um, I think I might be able to work a couple of those costumes. <laughs> it sounds like fun. All right, uh, so we want to do one last shot because I, I, this is a big event. Event, a lot going on here. I know you can't pull it off without some help and I know you have sponsors. You want to give a shout out to those sponsors? Yeah, of course. So we definitely would like to thank all of our 2023 sponsors, um, Northwestern Medicine, United Healthcare, Payless Pediatric Dentistry, CNB Bank and Trust, and then Auto Owners Insurance as well. So thank you all so much for the support. We really appreciate it. All right. Well, Kara, thank you. Thank you to the sponsors. Uh, thank you to Palos Heights. And all the people are coming because I can, I'm sure this crowd goes beyond Palos Heights and we got vendors from everywhere. So uh, thank you. Let's go take a look and let's meet some of the vendors and, and what type of things you might find here. All right, we are at a, uh, I want to introduce Josie, who I've known for several years now, uh, one of my favorite vendors here, and I've been to her store in LaGrange. Yes, LaGrange. Uh, oils, vinegars, and other products. I mean, how about, tell us about your store, the name of your store, and all the things that you sell first, maybe. So the name of my store is Olive Aceto, Olive, and Aceto in Italian means vinegars. So it's Olive and Vinegars. And I saw olive oil from all over the world the best olive oil, and the balsamics are from Modena, Italy. They've been aged for 12 years, except for one, it has been aged for 18 years. And uh, I've been coming here uh, for about eight years to the Palos Heights Farmer's Market, and it has grown, and it's beautiful, it's wonderful, I love the people here. My store is in downtown LaGrange, I've been there for nine years, and I just gotta tell you, if you stop by, you could try everything from the olive oils, the balsamics, the honey. Um, here, you, I only have the olive oils and the balsamics to try, to taste. Um, I welcome anybody to come here and just try them. 
I say you have some other products too, you, and I know you have more in your store, but like you've got noodles and pastas, uh, and and I, we've got salt behind us. Yeah. But I, I'm going to have to ask you to like how you got my wife and I hooked in this stuff was actually with the vinegar and was not something I ever anticipated like yes we use the vinegar for cooking and for salads what else can we use the vinegar for oh my gosh you could use it for marinades uh, you could use it for your drinks like I have a peach balsamic that you put it in your sparkling water and it just becomes a very refreshing drink um, you could use it on desserts, like the chocolate balsamic, you could put it on your strawberries, you could put it on your cheesecake. The blood orange olive oil tastes fantastic on vanilla ice cream, just phenomenal. If you put a little bit of bananas and, and uh, blueberries and strawberries, it just, it's out of this world. You'll love it. All right, that's what I was looking for. So not just the, the traditionals, like, yeah, we drink it, which maybe sounds weird. It's incredible how well it works. And you've got so many different flavors. Uh, so obviously the cooking. Uh, Josie, baking. thank you very much. Yeah, baking. You, thank you very much. Thank you. A lot of cool stuff. You definitely want to check this out. And just like she did now, she will help give you some suggestions on other things you can do with it, right? All right, Josie, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. All right, uh, we are now with Amy at Amy's European Bakery and Crepery. And I'm going to tell you, I walked by here last time and I felt like there's a tractor beam trying to pull me in. <laughs> it's the smells. <laughs> it <is>. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you see the crepes, yeah, you're going to want to try this out. But talk about, so obviously we get crepery, but talk about your business a little bit. And uh, you know, how long have you been coming here yeah, also? absolutely. So this is my second year at the Payless Farmer's Market. And I started out with my bakery, uh, which was the European Bakery, and I, which I still do. I started that. Uh, me and my grandma used to bake all the time. And they just started the closing bakeries. And people would go to the, your, you know, your big box uh, markets for their bakery. And I thought, oh, gosh, that's just not the same. Uh, so I did that for last year and saw kind of a lack for hot foods and brought the crepery out and we offer a full scale of savory and sweet crepes um, including gluten-free which is really a unique product so um, all my baked goods are still available for pickup at the markets um, some of my favorites of course are the Lithuanian bacon buns you can't go wrong with bacon uh, and the Swedish card mom rolls so yeah I'm super excited to be here the people at Payless are amazing and I'm just really excited to be back I'm going to say on behalf, I'm going to say thank you then because, and I agree, I like it too, that we're talking about a family thing. This is not, you know, they're going to get, a, they're going to get the authentic experience uh, and the crepes, they look amazing. Uh, Amy, thank you very much. Uh, come to the farmer's market hungry and make this part of your stop. All right. Absolutely. Come visit, uh, visit me. Um, order, we'll be here all season so you could go through the whole entire uh, menu. Find out which one's your favorite. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. All right, now we are talking with Candy, and we have got some great looking, I mean, the strawberries look beautiful. I wish you could smell them because they, <laughs> it's like I, I'm trying to stop myself from grabbing one. They're delicious, yeah. first pick today, very first pick wow. of the season. First pick of the season. So Candy, can you tell us what is your business and how long have you been coming to the farmer's market? I work for Lions Fruit Farm and Greenhouse out of South Haven, Michigan. We've been coming here the whole time the market's been open, I believe about 10 years now, we've been coming to Payless Heights. Wow, so we are truly fortunate and this fresh produce looks amazing. Um, what what else, and we've got the strawberries obviously and, and there's other great products here. What else does, does the Lions Fruit Market duck? Uh, we have an orchard, full on orchard, all the stone fruit, nectarines, peaches, plums, right down to the apples and pears in the fall. So everything in the orchard. So we'll be we'll see other fresh produce later in the summer then? Correct. This is just a start. The only produce at the market is at my stand today. Everything else is coming. By about 4th of July, we'll be full on with summer fruit. Apples will start hitting at the end of August. All right. So come down now. You can get the, some fresh produce now, and you'll continue to see more as the summer goes on, and a lot of great-looking fresh produce behind me. Uh, Candy, thank you very much. Thank you for 10 years, and hopefully another 10 on top of that. Absolutely. <laughs> you can always hope for the best. It's a fun job. We love it. All right. Awesome. Make sure you stop down. Come down hungry, and then also pick up some of the fresh produce to also take home.
All right, we've got one more stop at the farmer's market and, uh, and also a good sample of the variety of things you'll find here. Uh, we're with Megan, and you own Wildflower Soap Company, right? That's right. I've been doing this here at the farmer's market for about four years. You can also find my products at the Lake Catherine Gift Shop if you're out there doing a hike. This has uh, become a passionate thing for me. It started as a creative, fun thing and just kind of rolled into a business. And now I'm a stay-at-home mom. I do this, and my girls, I have two of them luckily, they started to help me out now that they're getting a little bit older. They wrap the soaps for me, so a um, little soap cutting. So it's kind of fun, our little family business here. Let's say a true family business, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, and how about, so you have soaps, but there are some other products here. You want to mention what else you have? And then what, what is uh, unique or special about your soaps or the scents or, or what you have? Sure. So I do have a couple other products. I've got some lotions, some scrubs and soaks. I have aromatherapy rollers. Um, pretty much anything that I'll use on myself, I'll make for the table. And what kind of is so unique about it is I try to just use as much um, natural ingredients as I possibly can, make it very good for your skin. Anything that's going to be on my skin is going to be on the table. On a day like today, too, I could see where, yeah, maybe you'd want something on your skin, whether uh, some lotion, to, you know, for the dry. But, uh, yeah, some cool things. Definitely check it out. I like the family business. You're bringing the kids up in it. Yeah, that, and they're going to be with me almost every Wednesday, too, so you can see them out here with me. All right. So another reason to come back. And also thank you for the tie into Lake Catherine, all right? Yeah, so if they can find you here, but they can find you at Lake Catherine. Obviously, we've got summer and beautiful weather. Uh, Megan, thank you very much. Uh, some very very nice products here definitely whether for yourself or i think there's gift potential here too right all right megan thank you good luck have a good summer hopefully we'll see you you know later on this year thank you hi i'm dave Worsley, and you've been watching uh around palis we've been at the farmer's market this summer and a lot of great vendors here a lot of great variety you want to come hungry and uh you got gifts you can things for yourself uh crafters and and gardens and produce uh just a great everything type of day Come on down and check it out. Thank you for watching.